Now, here's meteorologist Pete Nanjoni with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 future cast. And as we head into our final forecast of the show, things are looking kind of... <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? When you said the final forecast of the show, I was like, that's forecast number 17,000. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think... No, how many do we have? Uh, six? I don't know. Six big There's ones. There's a lot. Yeah, There's right. a lot. But our point is, it's a final one, so we're really going to pay attention here. Okay. As you give us the details. Focus. Last Focus. chance till 6.30 tonight. Here we go. Live in Point Doppler 12. Not showing anything significant across southern New England right now. I want to take you into Quonset Point. Perhaps you're headed over to the air show today. 10 o'clock in the morning, 77 degrees. In fact, we're already in the 70s now. 3 o'clock, 84. Now, we may see an isolated shower or thunderstorm here in North Kingstown. But most of the day actually looks dry. Now, keep in mind, if you do happen to get under one of these showers or storms, some brief heavy downpours are possible. Narragansett, here's a time lapse. Over the past hour, you can see the rocks are here. The beach, way off in the distance right here. Notice a few more people now starting to gather. We've seen mostly cloudy skies, a few hints of some brightening, but the clouds are winning out for now. Same story in Down City, Providence, although north and west of Providence, a fair amount of sunshine right now. Temperature is 71 degrees. Those winds out of the south, three miles an hour. Jim in North Smithfield, he says, bright sunshine with a temperature of 70. We'll be kind of off and off off and on with the sun for today. 70 right now, New Bedford, 72, Newport, Block Island. You're at 72 often at this time of the morning. Block Island is a bit cooler. However, a warm front drape just down to the south is pumping in some of that warmer air from the south. Satellite picture showing a few showers rolling through Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Notice how they kind of die out over Long Island Sound. It's possible a few of these showers make it through into Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts for the morning, but again, most of the day is dry. There is that warm front I just mentioned that scoots over southern New England today, bringing along with it the humidity. Quite a sticky afternoon. We'll also see the chance of a few showers and storms being created by that front. Hour by hour with our future cast. Just keep your eye on the clock right here. There is the mix of clouds and sun as we go into the late morning, early afternoon. Some isolated storms, showers are possible. You can see them off to our north and west, but it's possible some of these slip through Rhode Island and the rest of southeastern Massachusetts. Same story as we go into the evening, the overnight hours, with the chance of an isolated shower or storm, and some of them could be briefly heavy, but again, the majority of the time it's rain free. Overnight into tomorrow. Look at the sunshine coming out for early Monday afternoon. It's really going to heat up. Wait until you see that Monday temperature. By Monday afternoon and evening, because of the heat, humidity, and an approaching front, we could see some storms sliding through the area, some of which could be strong. Your temperatures for today, 83 Pawtucket, 82 Rumford, 83, 82 in Central Falls, and 82 downtown. And with that humidity, by late afternoon, it may actually feel warmer than these numbers actually look here on the screen. 82 in Warwick, 82 in Garden City, 82 in Riverside. Barrington, well, of course, we have the CBS Charity Classic going on. Today, an isolated shower, thunderstorm possible. High 82. Tomorrow, hot. 88 degrees with the humidity. It feels even warmer there on the golf course. Chance of an isolated shower or storm, especially late in the day. Optimistically, I'm going to hold those showers and storms off until uh, most of the action is done with on Monday. But it's possible a storm slips through a little earlier than that. We'll be tracking it with live pinpoint Doppler 12. 79 in Westerly today. 78 Newport. A little warmer inland with 83 in Coventry. Northern Rhode Island temperatures in the low 80s today. 82 Foster. Johnson hits 83 and 82 in Cumberland. Out across coastal Massachusetts. It's temperatures in the upper 70s and low 80s, 78 in Westport, 83 Fall River, 82 Seekonk. And out on the water, waves 1 to 2 feet, winds out of the southwest, 5 to 15 knots with an isolated storm. If you're headed to the beach today, mid-70s, more clouds and sun with a chance of an isolated shower or storm, but nothing to cancel your beach plans. And as we take a look at Tropical Storm Alex, you can see the edge of it now entering the Gulf of Mexico, winds at 40 miles an hour. The uh, forecast model is kind of taking it all over the place. We expect it to enter the Gulf later on tonight. Could strengthen into a hurricane. One model takes it here, another takes it up closer to the United States, something we will continue to watch. There is a closer look, and you can see that storm fairly well-developed at this time. All right, seven-day future cast shows 90, very hot and humid for Monday, chance of storms uh, late Monday into Tuesday, 87 degrees on Tuesday afternoon, temperatures upper 70s for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, so much more comfortable sleeping weather on the way. I just got a memo here, Danielle. Yes, I, I didn't understand it at first, but now I understand. They said 33 times that we do the weather on the show, so that's good. We keep people informed. Absolutely, but again, we only have one more to go. So. That's right. That's it. 32 down. We're done. All right. <laughs> we'll see you later in the show. Thanks, Pete. And now we want to take a look.